Hi guys, it's Nikki here with Bow Buggles, your brand ambassador. Today we're going to get back to basics. We are going to do some basics. We're going to talk about a couple brushes. We're going to talk about a couple strokes and um, show you how to do them. So, first thing you want to have when you're a face painter, sorry, is the right brushes. You got to have the right brushes. So when you order your Bow Buggles kit, and you get that, you're going to get two brushes. <coughs> Still got that cough, sorry. You're going to get a filbert brush, which is the flat round brush. Right there, can you guys see that? And you're going to get a liner brush, which is this. Like I said in a previous video, I love this thing. But you're also going to need some other brushes, because if you're just painting at home and you're a parent, those can do pretty much what you want them to do, but they can't do everything. So the main brush that you're going to want more than anything else to get any job done is going to be the number four round brush. The ones that I like the best are from Le Cornell or Vienna. Vienna you can buy at your local Michael store here in the U.S. Le Cornell you can order online at pretty much any face paint shop or um, any craft store that sells that brand. Uh, Mark Reed is another brand of brushes that are really nice. I love these ones for tiger stripes. Amazing tiger stripes. Then you're also going to want a number two round and possibly a number zero round. The zero I use for line work, and the number two I use for smaller things. That um, sometimes I'm just too heavy handed with uh, number four, so this gives me a little bit better control with the, the less amount of bristles. You're also going to want a one stroke brush. This one's a short flat from the face paint shop. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite brushes. I have the short angle on its way. I haven't got it yet, but it's coming. You're going to want a full brush for your one strokes. One inch. This is a three quarter. And this is a one inch. This fits in your one strokes completely. All the way from side to side. So every drop of paint color from all sides will get picked up with this. And this is actually one from Paradise Makeup, which is Mayron. Just one of their one strokes. And again, three quarter. Some other brushes that I personally can't live without are, these are my paint pal brushes. This one's a teardrop, and this is the petal. Teardrop helps to make teardrops but I actually really like it for small flower petals and then this one is meant for larger flower petals and then you'll need some short small angled brushes and everything else from there is pretty much what you like at that point so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our number four low Cornell and we're going to get some water we're going to get our paint, and we're going to load. Hmm, what colors do I want to use? How about some purple? We're going to load some purple. The first thing we're going to do is some lines. We're going to do thin to thick lines. I'll show you guys how to do some thin to thick lines. When you're loading your brush, you want to go back and forth like this, and then back and forth. You almost want your brush to come out flat. You see how it's flat? It looks like a duck bill. Makes the line work a lot easier. So then you'll get your arm or wherever we're going to pull the camera down so that you can see. So you're going to take your brush straight up in the air on the pointy end and really very lightly just pull it down it's going to make your thin lines 
just like that. To make a thick line, you're going to lay it on the flat end and push down and pull. So you get a thick line. And I can see on the camera that the paint that is purple in the kit actually looks blue on the camera, but it's purple. I promise. I really got to get a better camera, guys. I'm working on it. I promise. So to do a thick to thin line, which would be something like a tiger stripe, you're going to start on your tip, pull down, lay your brush, and then come back up on your tip. Pull down, lay, come back up on your tip. <laughs> and you want to practice those. And you want to practice them over and over. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they're going to help you with your brush control. They're going to help you learn how much pressure to put on the brush when you're doing a design. They're going to help you know if you're heavy handed or light handed. It's going to be entirely just from doing lines. You're going to learn all those things. So we're going to clean this off really quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get another number four brush. This is a low kernel also. It's just black handled. And we're going to go into some white paint because now we're going to do some teardrops. Teardrops seem to be the one thing that everybody has trouble with. I had so much trouble with them when I started. Um, and thanks to an, another amazing painter who challenged me to do a hundred a day. To practice a hundred a day for a week. And I did. And now I'm not that bad at them anymore. But... At first, when I started out, I couldn't do them how everybody else does them. So I started out by doing them the, the way that's called drag and drop. So to drag and drop, you're going to start on your tip. You're going to make your skinny line and then drop your brush down and lift it up. Thin line, drop and lift. Don't want to pull the brush back up. You just want to lift it right off of where you let it down at. Lay, lift. You don't want to pull it. If you pull it, it's going to flick it out like that. You don't want that. And that's your drag and drop. And to do your other, you're actually going to take your brush and you're going to lay it first and then you're going to flick it. Lay, flick. Lay, flick. And that's how you get a teardrop. And there's something you really just need to keep practicing at to get the brush control to know how much to lift the brush, how and when to lift the brush. And you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing. I'm also going to show you the teardrop with the actual teardrop brush. So load your teardrop brush with the white. Gonna be pretty much the same thing. Lay and lift. Lay and lift. Lay and lift. See, so yeah. this isn't my favorite for two drops, but they're not terrible. <coughs> you can also do the drag and drop with these. They have a really nice point to them. So, point lay. Point lay. Line lay. Just like that. Now these brushes are really good for petals as well. This is the petal brush. This is. So we're going to double load to make a petal. I'm going to load my white all onto my brush. And then I'm going to dip my brush to the very, very tip in some water. That's how I do my double dip flowers. 
Then I'm going to take just the very tip of the brush and we're going to go into this really dark purple. And I'm going to use just the very tip of the brush and load the purple onto the very, very tip. Don't put a lot of pressure because you'll start loading further down the brush where you don't want to be. You see? Just the very, very tip. Then you'll take that and you'll point it and lay it down. Just like that. Point. Lay. Point. Lay. Point it and lay it. Point it. And you have a flower. Super quick. Then this one will do bigger flowers. Same concept, same idea. Bigger flower. Bigger flower petal, should I say. So we're going to load up our white, just like I did with the teardrop brush. And we're going to clean our tip, and then we're going to get our color. So I'm going to use a teal color. Again, same thing. Only loading the tip of the brush. Your design. And just lay the brush. Lay it down. You can use this to make designs. You can use this to add to designs. Use it for accents to designs, however you want to do it. You can do the same technique with your round brush. Load it with your white, and it doesn't have to be white paint. You can use any two colors you like. Always use your darkest color on the bottom. So if you're going to do a black, I would do your lighter color on top, then your black in the middle. If you're doing it with your lighter color on the bottom, it's going to mix with the black and it's just not, it's going to be really muddy and not really show up. I'll show you one with the black. We're going to do the teal. Load the brush up real nice. Clean our tip. I like to clean my tip off in some water. Some other people just like to rub theirs off on a towel. However you like to do it. Load our black just on the tip. Make sure it's loaded there, though. Let your brush down. And we now have a little bit of a different type of flower with the teal and the black. I love those colors together. They're so pretty. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and wipe all this off real quick. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys your filbert brushes, which are the ones that come in your kit. These are used more for filling in larger spaces, but you can use them for teardrops and other things. So I'll show you how to do that really quickly. So you're going to load your brush back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's harder to learn to do a tear brush with a filbert than it is to do one with a round. So if you're going to do one with a filbert, Load your brush. You have to lay your brush, and as you're coming down, you have to twist your brush to get that point on the end. So it's much more difficult. And to do a reverse, you have to thin line and lay your brush, but I just don't think they look that good. But this is better to fill in large spaces all at once. If that's what you're looking to do. That fills a large space quite quickly. The 
this paint dries crazy quick though. Yes, it does. Bow Buggles paint dries crazy quick. I love it. Okay, and the other two brushes I wanted to show you guys were the three quarter flat and the one inch one stroke. So I am currently waiting for some more paints. We're gonna do a video on one strokes and how to make them with this kit. They are sending the kit out. I spoke to them this morning. So the first thing we're gonna show you is the one stroke, one inch, one stroke. You get your brush nice and wet. You're going to go into your paint, and you're just going to drag straight across. Now, I dome my paints um, on my one strokes. There's a video on YouTube. Just uh, Google how to dome your one strokes. I don't know the name of the girl that did the video. I don't remember. But um, it's awesome. It makes it a lot easier to load them. And... It keeps your paint from getting all in the middle, how this one is. <clears throat> and once you load this, you can pretty much do whatever you'd like with it. You want to do some petals. That. Do some petals or rainbows. All kinds of designs you can make with this, but that's how you load your one stroke up. And your three quarter is going to be the same way. You load it just similar. I'm going to, if I can get my paint out, my case. we'll do a quick rose with this one. Your paints, your three quarter flat, and back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. More water if you need it. And just keep going back and forth until your brush is nice and loaded. Once your brush is loaded, get started on your design. Now, if you're going to be doing roses, you want to make sure your paint dries in between each layer or they get really, really muddy. There we go. That's how you use your three quarter flat. It may not always pick up every single color in the cake because it's not a size brush compared to the one inch. So you may get a lot of one color and less of another. Like if I use the lunch one inch on here, I would get every single color. But because I'm using the three quarter, I'm getting more blue and white and less red. So then I can do something that has very little red, almost like an outline of the red. But lots of white and blue. That's a quick lesson on brushes and some super quick, easy strokes. Your thin to thick lines, your teardrops, <clears throat> and how to do some one strokes. If you have any more questions, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to check out my page, Nicole Grayson MUA1 on Facebook. NicoleGraysonMUA.com is my website. Face Paint Nikki on Instagram. And check out Bill Buggles. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.